It has classes, facilities, and programs like any other high school. There are tests, a cafeteria, and a library. But this school has one addition that makes it unusual. Make that several additions. The Lee Adolescent Mothers Program in Fort Myers, best known as LAMP, is for girls who get pregnant before finishing high school. With special programs, health and child care, it's a comprehensive effort to keep them in school while assisting them with the responsibility for which none were prepared. I was really scared. I freaked out. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. The academia part of your life has to accommodate your motherhood. So uh, you don't have time necessarily for homework, lots of it, every night because the baby cries. That's your homework, that's your life now. Since the 1960s, LAMP has provided a haven for young moms. It's an opportunity to address a variety of social issues in a safe and supportive environment, helping both the parent and child develop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. There are 11 classrooms and six nurseries, plus a cafeteria that is shared with students at the Alternative Learning Center next door. LAMP students may participate in any of their home school's activities, like prom or basketball. But the demands of parenting leaves these teenagers little time for extracurricular fun. This is a difficult situation to teach because you can imagine you deal with a huge absentee problem. Because when the girls are sick, they have to stay home. When the babies are sick, they have to stay home and take care of the baby so that they kind of get a double whammy. So our teacher's challenge is to make sure that these girls get what they need when they come back from illnesses. We have two kinds of students. We have pregnant teens and we have parenting teens, sometimes both. The pregnant teens, of course, have their prenatal care that they set up, but most of them go to the family health centers. LAMP is a Title I school, which means at least 40% of its students qualify for a free or reduced lunch. Federal funds are available to help close the achievement gap for students living in poverty. Teen pregnancy rates, which have been steadily declining for years, have recently started moving back up. Programs that assist new mothers are often used as a gateway to break the cycle that leads to poverty. We have voluntary pre-K next door, and then they go to kindergarten at a regular public school. So that is a seamless continuum that they can have here while having their mother still on campus. And it's really, it's a wonderful experience. And if we hope to break the cycle of teenage pregnancy and the financial difficulties that go along with early, you know, having a baby early, these early interventions are probably the thing that will do it. And the fact that they can be seamless and they can be all in one place is powerful. I try to maintain a sense of normalcy. I, I feel this is a school. And and they have to have the same opportunities as a regular school, along with all the other benefits. Doris Spurhake has been teaching since 1976, mostly to students with special needs. Since 2000, she has been at LAMP, where her class in family and consumer science takes on extra meaning for everyone. I feel more needed here, and I feel that the program um, reaches out to kids. It's, it's something that if this program would not be here, the kids would be forgotten. And it's amazing when you see these girls get off the school bus and they've got their children, they've got their diaper bags, they've got books, they have, you know, they just are, have so much stuff. And, and it's just phenomenal to see that they have put this effort into coming to school. I would say across the curriculum, we are all mindful of it. Uh, we're all here to help. And every teachable moment we find with regard to parenting, we use it. Kelly Bonner, a teacher at LAMP for 10 years, finds it rewarding to work with young girls who struggle with hardships beyond raising a child. We do what we can. We um, have field trips to the library regularly. We do take them to plays when we can. Often budgetary restrictions will keep us from, from doing all that we want to do and of course the limitations set forth by the district. But it's important to us that they have as normal of a school experience as possible. At regular school they judge and 
they just made it seem like I was a bad person, so, and these people don't. They make you feel like it's okay. These young girls face difficult questions, many that won't appear on their tests. But the students at LAMP are determined to pass the ultimate test, to be the best parent they can. They want the best for their kids. They're growing up themselves and they realize it. I think they also want their children to have all the opportunities possible, just like an adult parent. And I think that's why it's so important that they have the support in a school setting. And often I see people in the community, and it's funny because when I run errands after school and I have my name tag on, I'll have clerks in stores say, I'm a lamb girl. I, I went to lamb. And they all say it was a wonderful program that, that helped, them, helped them reshape their life. <laughs>